What's up YouTube, it's God of Lightning 5 here again, and I'm really sorry I have been away for such a long time. Um, I tried to crank out a video over spring break, which was about a month ago in April, but unfortunately I couldn't come up with anything, and so I had to cancel that uh, plan that I had over spring break. Um, I also have been busy with school quite a lot since I am a junior in high school, and this is a pretty hard year, so I had to stay focused on school, and so I've had to take a break from YouTube for quite some time, but um, right now, since it's near the end of the year, I thought I'd make a video in May. So this video today, I'm going to show you some cool tips to do with your dock in Mac OS X. Okay, so one thing I want to show you is um, kind of fooling around, like re-customizing your dock in this certain way and what you can do with it. So we are going to go to System Preferences and use a little thing I installed called Hidden, setting, hidden Settings. Now, what this can enables me to do with customizing things, I can do it with Safari, Finder, and whatnot, but I'm just going to do the dock. I can, for visual, I can actually put it back into 2D like it was in Tiger. Oops. Um, see, I don't really like uh, that really much, but I'm sure a lot of you might, other might, but um, I like the 3D one more, so I'll just apply changes right there and put it back to 3D. Now, another cool thing, well, I really don't like this myself, but personally, what other things you can do with customizing your dock is spacers. Now, this is where you can have a lot of your dock spaced out, and then you can have, like, uh, certain apps in certain groups, like I'll demonstrate right here. So I'm going to add four spacers to my dock. So first, we've got to apply the changes and restart the dock, like always. And now, you, as you can see, there is a big space right in this... Um, a uh, big opening in this part of my dock. Now I can just move the apps. So I'll just put my, I'll just organize. This is this would be where my gaming group would go. I'll put San on Grand Theft Auto San Andreas here, um, World of Warcraft, and Kirk's client since that's a part of WoW. So I think I'll put that out there. Now I can do that with the rest of my other docks. That's pretty much what the space is. I'm not gonna completely redesign my whole dock with the spacers because I don't want to do that. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna keep it. But in order, if you don't want this anymore, as in you don't want it spaced out anymore just go to hover over a really big blank part of the dock uh, you right click and you say remove from dock that's not gonna remove any apps that's just gonna you know shorten up your dock Okay. and yeah so that's pretty cool um, I can highlight item under mouse in the grid stacks um, but I'm not going to do that because that's not really for uh, customizing it. But in case you want to do that, that's pretty cool what you can do with uh, those settings. I'm not going to apply any changes. Um, let's see. Another way you can customize your dock, and I'm sure most of you have heard of this, but I'm just going to throw that out there, is using an application called Dock Library. Now, what Dock Library enables you to do is it actually allows you to change the skin tone of your dock. Like you see, I'm currently on the default tone. But I have uh, other downloaded docs right here, so um, uh, let's just say I wanted Parishment to go with um, my doc since I have a new beach wallpaper in my uh, computer. So I'll just click that and see. I downloaded this, but look, after you download it, you completely are able to uh, have your doc changed like that and I will show you how to import various docs and change back but I like the default doc so I'm just gonna go back to that okay so I'll quit doc library okay now I will show you the website where we can get these things link will be in the description for both of them but I'm just gonna show you how you can customize your doc in a Mac OS uh, 10 okay so there are two websites we can go to first you want to download a doc <laughs> Whoops, that's my bad. I accidentally uh, had something in the new app tabs that are in the new Firefox browser. But um, So anyway, we will go back to uh, Google or uh, Safari and we will type in... Um, here's one place you can go. We can go to leoparddocs.net and we can download whatever we want, whatever kind of doc we want. But um, 
Personally, I don't use this website a lot anymore in case I ever want a new uh, doc because, you know, they just don't upload, uh, they don't um, offer as many, a lot of docs as this other website I'm about to show you. But here's a better website called, I think this is how you spell it, it's called Docalicious. Yeah, I think it's called Docalicious. And this one offers a, a whole lot more um, doc skins in order for you to, uh, um, what do you call it? Customize your dock. So, all right. Even though I am already logged into this website, um, you actually don't need to log in. Right here, you will just click docs. Now you can see they have a whole lot of docs to choose from. They have like more over 36 pages, and I'll just look for something basic, a basic doc. So I'll just skip to page 13. Um, I'll download... You know, let's just download the Modern Warfare 2 one since that's a huge uh, game in the Call of Duty series. So we'll download this doc. Save file. We will open this in fine. We will open this doc, uh, file. It'll unzip it for me. And this is called the Modern Warfare 2 doc. So now we arrange by, I'll just arrange that by name. Now we go into our doc library, go to import, and now we'll go to our download since we just downloaded something, and we'll look for Modern Warfare 2. Here we go, Modern Warfare 2 doc. We'll open it, and there it is. That's how you import any doc. Uh, we will activate it just to see how it looks. And yeah, it doesn't look that great. Well, it doesn't come out that great here, but that's just how you import a doc. But I am going to delete that one anyway since I don't want it. And I'll just go back to the default one. So yeah, this is just a video on how to do some cool stuff with your doc in Mac OS X. I hope you like this video, and I... And planning to make more videos in the future since school's almost out. So yeah, just send me an in send me a message, or you can contact me on iChat since I'm on every day. I even I even share my Facebook publicly. So yeah, just send me a friend request and tell me you're from YouTube, and I'll accept you. All right, see you guys later.